Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to me faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are continuing on with the supply ship once again, and uh, I believe today we're actually going to work on the inside a little bit, because the outside is pretty much done. Uh, this isn't even tied down, and we have been driving for a little while now. Uh, you can see that it's moving around, but it's not too bad. Uh, so this is what we did last time. We ended up uh, editing this helicopter, we painted it a little bit, and uh, we added some stuff to it, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, the rest of it needs working on now, so we're gonna go down onto the inside. Uh, I think I'm gonna change this room out a little bit. Uh, I might actually get rid of all this, uh, and we'll put a massive cargo door in here, because I think that would be really cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get on with it, shall we? Okay, so first things first, what I want to do is I want to make sure that this is always tied down uh, at the beginning. So uh, we're going to go ahead and strap this onto there, strap that onto there, and same with this side too. So we'll do all of this, and that is fine. All right, awesome. Uh, we did actually allow this thing to have refueling stuff on it as well. Uh, we do actually have a refueling bit here too, which is pretty awesome. But um, yeah, so what we're going to do today is I actually kind of want to delete these. And I want to make them fold out, or fold up, so we can actually put things inside. Now, if I do delete this on both sides, hold on, let's say we delete this bit uh, right there. Actually, you know what? It could still be this. It could actually still be this. All right, delete these real quick. All right, and that is actually in the wrong room. Oh, that sucks. All right, yeah, we're actually going to get rid of these then. Uh, and it's just going to be normal from there, forwards, uh, which I think makes sense. Um, so this whole area is just going to be uh, nothing. Essentially, here we go. Put that bit back. Do this. Do all of this. Whoa, not that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do all of that. There we go. Do all of this as well. And do all of this too. There we go. All right, fantastic. No, that's fine. Uh, paint that bit, obviously. And actually do this as well. There we go. All the way down the middle. Yes. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to have some like big old doors, uh, like huge doors. In fact, we're going to delete one of these. Uh, let's go inside and delete, like, all of this. Because, like, I, I don't know what we would need these seats for. Um, so we're just going to delete all of them and hope for the best here. So uh, get rid of this. Go ahead and just jug it. That's fine. There we go. Jug it. And uh, we might as well just paint this too. There we go. Whee! Okay, awesome. That is that is good. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go up through here. We're going to figure out where the front of this is. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. Because we, we no longer need this bit either. So what's the point in having it? And uh, that'll be fine. All right, cool. No, that's awesome. All right, so we get our heater in the middle. That's actually still fine. That can stay there. Uh, we are going to get rid of all of these, actually, on this bit. There we go. Uh, and then we can figure out from here which bits we actually want to, like, fold up, if that makes sense. So we'll do this. We'll have, like, a big green patch down the middle. Uh, like this. There we go. Awesome. Um, and then we'll have a green patch here too. Okay, so the bits where it's going to open are going to be... Hold on, let me paint this bit. Whoop! There we go. Uh, and let's get rid of these as well. Because they're, they're not necessary, so we might as well get rid of them. Alright, there we go. Put that in there. And put that... Whoa! Put that in there. Okay, good. So if we go down on the inside, we need to make sure that all of these are painted the right way. Because otherwise, uh, it's going to look really strange. Alright, there we go. Okay, cool. And then we can actually just jug this piece, and that's it. All right, that is actually, that's it. That's fine. All right, cool. So let's do it. So we go to like the middle, let's say about here. There we go. We delete this bit and this bit and this bit, I believe. Get ourselves some pivots or some hinges. Actually, yeah, we don't need it to be that deep. A uh, robotic pivot. Yeah, this is all we need. Okay, so we're going to delete some of this, but not all of this. Oh, this will be fine. Okay, delete this bit and this bit. Pop this in. There we go. Do this. And that's it. All right, cool. So now what we need to do, realistically, is grab it from about... Oh, which room is this in? All right. Grab it from about here. Okay. Um, so let's do that. All right, there we go. This block right here. Let's go ahead and grab it. There we go. All the way over to... Oh, God. This. This bit? What's that? Is that lights? That might be lights. Okay, right. Uh, so we don't want to grab any pipes. That would be that would be really bad. Um, but we can move it this way. One, move it down, cut it, and paste it. That's it. 
All right, paste it. Nice. Okay, press U, take it to the other side, and do exactly the same thing. So paste this, and then we merge these together. So this with this, this with this, and we got some doors. Although this doesn't actually work like this, does it? Because they need to be proper doors. Yes, they do. They need to be proper doors. So delete these, and delete all of this. And possibly even this bit too. Get ourselves a door hinge. So we, we actually need one of these. Yeah, okay. This is where things get kind of interesting. I don't know which way up these should go. Uh, I'm actually thinking this way up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with this way up. That makes sense. Uh, and how does this look from the underside? So we need this to be the the door frame. Okay. This is gonna go all the way around the outside. Okie dokie. We need it to go literally all the way around the outside, so around here too. And we actually need it to go around there too. So we're gonna have to delete this. And we're also gonna have to delete this. There we go. Okay, so we need the door edge, the frame edge. And that is gonna go, um, uh, ooh, where's that gonna go? I'm confused. That should go here, but that doesn't make any sense. Oh, no, <laughs> that should go here. This does make sense now. Uh, so I think it goes across here. That's fine. There we go. Good, do this one as well. There we go, very good. And then these ones, all the way down the side. And then all the way down this side, too. Okay. Oh, this might need tipping over. I think it's the wrong way up. That's all right. Here we go. So this then goes in here like this. Same with this one. But we turn it around. And same with this one. If we can. If we can find it. There we go. Flip it over and stuff. Come on. There we go. Very good. And then this one. Uh, that's it. That's awesome. All right, cool. And then we just do these pieces. Like so. And then that piece is already in, so that's okay, and that's it. All right, cool. Delete the whole edge piece of this, because the doors uh, are like, they need the, the, the framework, if that makes sense. So we need to delete all of this in order to actually put the framework in. So we need a panel edge, and that all goes in like this, I believe. There we go. All the way around. Awesome. Uh, same with this piece, all the way to there. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing, literally all the way around, actually. There we go. All the way around. Uh, we'll add these pieces in too. One there. Okay. One there. And then these ones. One. Ah! One there. And one here as well. Come on. Put it in. There we go. All right. Very good. So, those are our doors. That's it. All right. Merge this with this. Merge this with this. And there we go. We got some sealable doors. Uh, on our deck. That's cool. Um, right, last thing I want to do then is I want to paint this. We're going to paint all the way down here like this. All the way across like that. There we go. Um, same with those pieces, actually. Yeah. All right, all the way down. Across. Very nice. And then the inside should be green. And we're just going to jug that bit, actually. I can't. You can't actually jug this. All right, cool. Cool, cool. There we go. All the way down there. Make this bit all the way this color. Actually, no. This color. And there we go. Okay, so I think the same is happening on both sides. And that is fine. I'm going to paint these bits as well, if I can. Because we can see a little bit of them. And that's good. There we go. Uh, paint that and actually paint all of that. There we go. All right, cool. So, we got ourselves some things. We got ourselves some things. That's awesome. Um, oh, they're green on both sides, though. That's kind of annoying. But I guess it's okay. Right, so we need like uh, controls for those. And I'm thinking right here. So we put this block in like this. Get ourselves a throttle. And that'll be it for opening and closing the doors. There we go. No, that's actually a really good idea. Because it doesn't look too bad being here. Um, and that seems fine. Okay, attach that to there and to there. And attach this down to there. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So this will control this side. This will control this side. And that's it. We got some big old doors. Okay, so this was what I was worried about. Uh, they do actually go down. I want them to go up. So we're going to change those around. But that is completely fine. That is awesome, actually. I like this. Okay, so all we need to do then is cut all of this. Go ahead and flip it over. Bring it upwards. Paste it. And that's it. All right, cool. Take it to the other side as well. Do the same thing on this side. Um, paste it right there. Very good. And we want to merge the outsides of these in. There we go, and that's it. So now we just need to paint all of this again, <laughs> which sucks, but, you know, doesn't take too long. 
All right, so we took the middle piece. There we go, on both sides, that's fine. We go ahead and paint these little lights. That's fine too. Uh, and then around the outside, I think what we actually want to do is grab this. Oh wait, are we down one? Oh no, we just got a hole there. That's weird. That's really strange. Uh, anyway, paint all of this all the way around the outside. All the way around there, all the way this way. Oh, I think it's because I pushed it this way. Oh, that's not right. That's not right. We need to revert, revert. Okay, so there it is. Right, we need to actually drag it this way. Uh, and then paste it here. But we're missing a part, so we're going to have to cut this one. Oh, no. No, we need it to be bigger. Hold on. Hold on a second. We need it to be bigger. We need to grab these pieces too. And then we need to go down to grab the lights. But the lights are the wrong way up anyway, so... Actually, if we don't get the lights, we'll cut them, flip them over, drop it down, paste it. There we go. All right, this is how it works instead. Now, this this makes sense. All right, do this one as well. There we go, paste it, and I'll sort these out, and then I'll show you them working. Okay, so what we actually need to do now is we actually kind of need to put these lights back in. So let's go ahead and uh, just whack these in. This should be easy enough to do. We'll go ahead and slap those in there. Uh, oh, actually, wait, we need to delete them on the other side. So when we slap them in, we need to delete them and then place them again. Uh, and that will give us the holes on the other side, uh, which then put the lights in. All right, fantastic, good. Uh, the lights then need to be the right color. And I'm not sure what color these were in the first place. So, we got a bit of an issue. I think I'm just going to go with this. There we go. We're going to paint the outside of it like this. And I think that'll be okay. Yeah, there we go. So we got lights on the doors. That's pretty... That's actually a good idea. Anyway, um, that's all good. We'll go ahead and paint the top pieces now too. Uh, and then hopefully, these will actually work. So, uh, attach these on. They're already attached. This one isn't. Alright, there we go. Give them electricity if we can. They don't have it. That's good. And then we'll attach these to here. There we go. Make sure we've attached all three. Do these ones as well. There we go. And then attach those to the right button, which is actually this one. There we go. There's a lot of buttons. I mean, there's a lot of lights attached to this one button. But uh, it's what we needed. So that's what we got. All right, there we go. Attach those on as well. And that one as well. And that's it. Cool. So spawn it in. These doors should work now. Uh, they should keep out the water, and that's it. Yeah. Whee! Nice. I, I wasn't sure whether I wanted doors or, or not, but uh, it does make sense that we do have them. So, there we go. Look at that. Cool. All right, open up the door. It opens up this way. Open up this door. It also opens up this way, and we can actually look backwards and look inside. And this is like a huge storage area now. And then, and then, and then, and then, if we go past the moon pool, we can actually turn on lights... And there's lights up there. Oh, that's fantastic. No, this is actually really good. Uh, and then inside of here, I'm not sure what to add. Like, I don't know whether to add magnets on the floor, little baskets. I I'm not sure. Uh, I think for now, we'll just have it like... Oh, actually, we can put rope anchors everywhere. All right, so what we'll do is we'll actually put some rope anchors around here. So we'll go down from where the door starts here, like this. We'll make sure we know where that is, which is there. Okay, so undo it, put that in. Good. Uh, do a similar thing on this side. Where does the door start, etc, etc. Cool, we know where that is. Delete it. Put that in. Uh, and then we're actually going to move in two. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so delete this. Delete that. There we go. Delete this piece. Awesome. We need to know where this side comes in two. Whoop. There we go. Come in two. Which is actually to here. Which is kind of weird, but that's okay. Anchors. Let's go. So, cream anchors. Let's do this. Here we go. Pop this right here. Pop this right here as well. Okay. Make it to the other side. Do the same thing. There we go. And there we go. And we're actually going to put in a good few of them. There we go. So, four in the middle. That's okay. One, two, three, four. All right. Put it there. Delete these. Put this in. One, two, three, four. Delete that one. One, two, three, four. That one and that one. And then it's actually, luckily, four in the middle as well. That's awesome. Uh, we're actually going to do this, like, all over the floor. There we go. And then we could tie down whatever we need to tie down to anything inside of here, which uh, totally works. That's awesome. And then I guess we could actually put it in the middle, too. And that works. Yeah, no, this works. All right, cool. We got a massive cargo bay now. That's awesome. Right, we can now delete this and this. I'm going to go ahead and put a marker around the floor so we know where it is. 
There we go, very good. We're gonna go across the sides too, and uh, that is awesome. That's really good. Uh, I am gonna do this though. We're gonna do like a, a black and yellow uh, line because reasons and stuff, and I think it should look better, so there we go. Oh yeah, no, this is good. This is very, very nice. There we go. Awesome, so that's like a cargo bay area, and that should totally work. Cool. I don't know whether to change like the interior color of this either. Like if I do that, let's say, and then we jug this middle piece. Does that look weird? I guess it does with these pieces. But if we have the tie downs be a different color, like let's say the tie downs are actually yellow, then we'll be able to see where they are very easily. And um, it doesn't look so weird. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. Do these ones as well. If I can see them. There we go. Awesome. Right, yeah. So now we've got a cargo bay instead of one of those weird areas. And to me, that makes sense. Uh, also, I am going to quickly paint this uh, because I probably should. Whee! There we go. And that is awesome. All right, cool. So we got cargo bay doors. I don't know whether to do that all the way down, actually, because, like, inside of here, we could block off the top of the roof and have, like, little storage areas. And that would totally work. And it wouldn't even look too bad. Uh, but how long is that room? Yeah, see, the room isn't that long. Although, actually, we could delete the top of this and have it go all the way to here. So, realistically, if we go from here all the way forwards to there, we could actually use this area for stuff. I think that's a cool idea, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Or should I? I don't know. I don't know. Um, cool. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in, see if all this stuff works. I don't actually have door seals on there right now, but uh, I think that's fine. It seems to work anyway. Uh, this is automatically tied down, which is awesome. Uh, so if we start the engine or whatever, we can do this. There we go. And it won't fly away. Because it can't. Because it's tied down. That's amazing. Uh, but then obviously if we get rid of these, let's do it one by one. Here we go. Delete that. It's still tied down pretty nicely with, with two actually, isn't it? Alright, there we go. Oh, I'm risking it for a chocolate biscuit. All right, it's flying away. But then, then if we run back this way, we attach it on. <laughs> we might be able to pull it back in. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I like the idea. So we're going to try. Okay, we're going to try and pull a helicopter back down to the earth. This doesn't make any sense, but I like it. Oh, oh, we're trying to pull it in. Come on. No, I, I think it's just going to act as a balloon, so we're just going to get rid of it. But, um, that's cool. I like the idea of that. Anyway, that's flying away. That's fine. We need to keep active block on it because I didn't put one on yet. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and test out this. So, that one works. There we go. We've got all of our straps down there. That's awesome. If we do this one, we've got all of our straps down there too. That's very cool. Um, yeah, I like it. Nice. This ship is actually looking pretty good. If we do go inside of here, though, uh, we do start to see some issues. This room is completely empty. I don't know what to put in here. Uh, this, I believe, is the toilet. Yeah, okay, the toilet works. That's fine. Uh, inside of here is like a little office slash bedroom. Same with this side, I believe. Yep. Then this one is like a CCTV room, kind of, but not really. Uh, which is kind of interesting. And then this is the med bay. Yeah. All right, that works. If we go downstairs, we got loads of sleeping quarters. All right. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. And yes, we do. Very cool. Uh, we got our lights and our cargo bay. We have our moon pool, which is really weird, but we've got one. Uh, if we go even further, we've got our stabilizer. Um, why are the lights not on in here? I think they should work off of... They might not have electricity anymore. I might have ruined the electricity. I'm not sure. But um, the electricity on these ones works still, which is interesting. Uh, and this is our engine bay. Right, okay. No, cool. This is fine. I'm actually giving you guys a, a quick tour, just in case you guys haven't actually seen, like, the whole thing before. Uh, if we go upstairs, you can't actually get to the upstairs from inside, so you have to go outside and then go upstairs to here. Uh, we have our refueling boom on the side. Somebody is mentioning in the comments, I am seeing it, uh, that we should actually have, like, another extension on that that falls out again. Uh, but that might be tricky to do because um, of the thing. But that's okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and close this up. There we go. We got up, down, and we got a pump. That's nice. Uh, if we go inside here, we got the cafeteria, the canteen area, which is nice. Uh, if we go forwards, we do actually have this area. If we push one, 
We've actually got our uh, cameras. This is a full-on camera room, which is pretty cool. Uh, so close that up. There's our kitchen. It's very minimalistic. <laughs> Extremely so. Uh, let's go upstairs. What's in here? Do 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 do. This is the uh, the bridge, and up here we've got nav lights, we've got deck lights, we've got front spotlights, we've got helipad lights as well, uh, which I believe flash. Yes, they do. Um, here we have fill ballast. Uh, essentially, when this thing is moving forwards, you'll see that uh, the front actually lifts out the water quite a bit. So when we fill the ballast, it, it stops that from happening. It's a very strange way of fixing it, but um, that's what we've got. So, yeah. Uh, and then we've obviously got empty ballast right there. We've got fire suppression uh, in the engine room. So that turns on some fire hoses. Uh, and that is pretty good. We've also got heaters right there. And that's it. There you go. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here for now. We've added some big old cargo doors and a little cargo bay. And I think that was a good move. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.